right, hey guys, I'm Erica. I'm going to be doing a makeup haul. Everything I purchased is under $10. Actually, about 90% of the things I purchased is probably under $7, but I'm just gonna put 10 just because I don't wanna like nitpick a number. So I purchased from iKate House. It was my first time purchasing from them, from e.l.f. and I think there's like one or two things from Shop Miss AI, but I feel like I'm like, I'm like, I've bought everything from Shop Miss AI like this past two months, so I like, there's nothing else I can possibly get. But yeah, I tried so hard to clean up my background, but it's just not for me. I'm. <sighs> Let me just get right into the video. I have the receipt in front of me. It's from iKate House, and I have all the prices with me. And you guys, these prices, you'll see, okay? So the first thing I'm going to, well, I bought a lot of uh, nail polishes and gems, like little, like, uh, gems, yeah, to put, and stuff like brushes and little nail things, because I do do my own nails, even though I'm not wearing them right now, because they needed a little breather. But if you watch my previous videos, I do all my nails myself, and they cost under $10. Probably like, let's just say I buy about 600 nails for like $10. So if you do the math, each set costs, I don't even know how many cents. But yeah, so I do my own nails, so I buy a lot of nail things. Um, so let me just get that out of the way. First thing I purchased was a LA Girl Pro, Pro BB Cream. And this was $4.99. And... You guys, I live in LA and I don't see LA Girl anywhere. Like, I don't see them anywhere. So when I see them online, I buy them. I buy them. I got this in Fair. I feel like the color may be too dark for me. Um, but I don't know. I haven't tried it out yet. Oh. What I've noticed from watching online reviews, I feel like they're a little too orangey, but... I bought these before I watched online reviews, so I didn't know when I purchased these. Um, this is a thing I see online a lot. It is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. It's an HD foundation. And this was $7.99. And I bought it in the shade... This is porcelain, you guys. But I still, I feel like it's orange. Like, let's see. And it's really liquidy. So let's... I don't know, doesn't that like look orange or I don't know. It's a really nice consistency consistency. The formula seems really nice and lightweight and full coverage. But I don't know you guys, the color just and this is porcelain, so it's the lightest shade. This is the reason I have to say ten dollars and under because this costs $9.99. If it wasn't for this, I'd probably have like, it'd be like a $6 haul or whatever. But this is the Milani 2-in-1. It's a concealer and foundation in one. I don't know what in the world I was thinking to get 03 light beige. But online, the color swatches, I guess this looked the lightest for me. Because I'm usually pretty good with foundation. This is, this is not my color at all. You guys look. If you're porcelain or light or fair like me, stay away from 03 light beige. If there's a lighter shade, go lighter. Look at this, you guys. How? How is this a light shade? <laughs> like this it's really thick. So, I'm not going to use this and I I'm not going to return it because I opened it and swatched it and everything. The formula seems nice. It's really, it seems, not heavy, but it's really thick. Seems very high coverage, but I don't know. Maybe I could like mix it with the lightning shade. Like I said, I have no idea why in the world I would purchase this shade. I always get the first shade for everything. So I'm assuming maybe they were sold out because that I can't wear. The next thing I bought is a LA Girl Nudes. Um palette this reminds me like the naked palettes and it was $6.99 so it looks like this so yeah this was $6.99 you guys and let me just do a few swatches get these two colors okay Ooh. and then I'll go for 
these two colors. Let's see. So you guys, it's pretty pigment. It's pretty pigmented. So yeah, this was this entire thing was only six ninety nine. La Girl again, Nika K Duo Highlighter. So this is what it looks like, and this was one ninety nine. So let's. I haven't even opened this. I'm trying to see if there's a name, but I don't see it. Like a shade name. So this is what it looks like. So yeah, this. And. Ooh. Looks very chalky, but. I don't know guys, this was only $1.99, but look at, like, it looks really chalky. Maybe if I do it on my wrist. Okay, I would definitely skip this if you're on Ikea House. Skip the highlighter. Unless you like chalk. <laughs> look. This is another LA Girl liquid makeup, so it's just foundation. But you guys, this was only $3.99. Oh no, I'm sorry. This was only $1.99. So it's another foundation in the shade Ivory. And it's it was $1.99, you guys. So if this works, great. Oh, look at the color match is immediately so much better. Oh yeah. So yes, LA Girl, $1.99. And last but not least for foundation, I got another one by Flawless. Finish Photo Chic and this was $4.99 for this foundation and I got it in fair oh okay so it has one of these spatula types and it's really liquidy ooh really liquidy so yeah and this was only $4.99. But a LA Girl I bought a LA Girl matte flat finish pigment gloss. So this is a liquid lipstick and it costs $3.99. So oh it's still closed. Uno momento. Okay. And this is in the color the color iconic. Wow, you guys, this is beautiful. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. I only bought one because I wasn't sure how, you know, it would work. But it's beautiful. And the last thing I purchased from Ikea House was a mascara. So this is $1.99 and it is from the brand Nika K. And it looks like... I don't remember buying this, you guys. Apparently, I bought a green mascara. Huh? Look. Okay, so I bought a green mascara. I did not remember this. Well, I don't want to ruin my lashes. So, I got a green mascara. That's it for Ikea House. And then I'm going to really quickly go on to e.l.f. and Shop Miss A because I don't want this to be a long video, which it probably already is. I bought a lot of things from Shop Miss A, but this isn't a Shop Miss A haul. I'm just doing makeup. I bought a lot of like chokers and chokers and permanent um, temporary tattoos. I bought a remember everything is a dollar. I bought another uh, concealer in porcelain, I believe. Two of their makeup remover wipes from their AOA line. These are brand new. One is in rose water. Oh, they're both in rose water. So I. And then this was one dollar, you guys. This is a Makeover Essentials Contour Kit, and you guys, this packaging alone I think cost more than a dollar. Has a huge mirror inside, which I don't want to blind you guys. Comes with a little diagram thingy, picture thingy, little brush, and you guys look at this. It's literally a contour palette for a dollar. 
so yeah I don't know how it works but it was one dollar that's it for shop mystery I don't remember the prices off the top of my head I will try to put them like down low or somewhere I should probably point out when I did this purchase of Elf spring cleaning sale so everything was under three dollars everything was under three dollars Spring sale is not happening now so I will put the original prices underneath this was actually a gift set that I got because there was like the spring sale it was like spend 25 or 35 and then put in a code and you would get this for free so all this I got for free it came with a highlighting brush a highlighting palette which I haven't used oh you guys look how pretty this is so yeah whoa you guys this packaging so you know I don't know if this is a highlighting palette actually I don't know you guys what is it it said natural glow face palette so oh, okay includes a bronzer highlighter and two blushes that makes sense because I was gonna say these are really dark to be a highlighter so bronzer, two blushes, and highlighter. Also got another one of these facial whips in pink lemonade. Lip lacquer in natural. Here's these sparkly eyes set. You guys, the reason I got this was because it was $1 for all these five eyeliners. Maybe I shouldn't open it just in case I want to give it away because I'm not going to use these, but I had to get it because it was a dollar. Day to night smoky eyeshadow. So it has three eyeshadows in there and a brush. I'm not going to open it just in case I want to give it away. Oh, I was so excited about this, you guys. It's the Gentle Peeling Exfoliate, Exfoliant. This is one of those uh, things where you put on your face and then you feel your dry skin or your dead skin coming off. And I wanted to try these so bad, but they were expensive. So when I found out e.l.f. made one, I bought it like right away. So I'm so excited to buy this. I always thought it was kind of gimmicky. Like, I don't know. I always feel like they put something in it to make it feel like it's your dead skin. But I don't know. So I bought one. Flawless eyeshadow in this quad in tantalizing Hope. Again, it was under a dollar. I bought two of these baked trios, one in brown bonanza, one in peach please. So I'm not going to swatch these because I do do giveaways, so just in case. I bought a foundation stick in nude, moisturizing foundation stick. Bought a lash tint mascara for my under lashes, bottom lashes. Let's see. I got an eye makeup remover set. Oh, I heard that they renewed the formula of these and it's good now. It's a tone, it's a concealer. I haven't had this since e.l.f. first came out and I didn't really like it. Oh, this looks kind of empty, you guys. Okay, I don't know if you could see that. Whatever. Another mascara, lashes, and a blush. Guys, I just wanted to mention I'm obviously in no way a YouTuber at all. I don't receive free products from PR companies. Like, you know, look at my subscriber count. I'm a nobody, but I'm actually signed up at a lot of websites where I receive, I wouldn't say it, like, they send, like, free, like, samples or stuff like that for me to review. If you guys are curious about any of those sites, let me know. I do receive a good handful amount of free things. Like, I just got this in the mail today. It's a sunscreen moisturizer. And I've received like Makeup Forever foundation sticks. I've received like Armani. Like I've received a lot of good products from like Buzz Buzz Agent, Influencer, all those sites like that. If you guys want me to show you guys all the free stuff I've received and how you guys can receive them, let me know because free makeup. Who doesn't love free makeup? I haven't. Oh, by the way, I haven't bought shampoo in like over a year because the amount of free shampoos companies have sent me. And it's not like they send it to me because I'm this person. They send it because I signed up for the website. So if you guys are curious about these websites, let me know. I'll make a video of like how to get free stuff basically. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!